In this section we will be learning about movement and object interaction. In this topic we will be learning how to create simple movement. This will give us a good starting point for more advanced movement. To start with, create a new object and name it obj underscore player. This will be the object that we are moving and playing as. Now add a create event and drag in a code block. The first thing we are going to do is initialize a few variables for our controls and speed. The first thing we will do is speed. Type spd equals 8. The spd stands for speed, and we are setting it to 8. You may be wondering why we don't just write speed instead of spd. In GameMaker, there are a number of constant variables which are built in and always exist in each object. These variables simplify things such as movement. Setting speed to 1 would make the object move 1 pixel in a direction based off the direction variable, which is also constant. When reading about GameMaker, these variables are often referred to as constants. Now go to a new line and type right equals vk right. This creates a variable called right and assigns it the right arrow key's key code. We will then use this variable to reference the key we want to use in our code later. Now we need to do the same for up, left and down. So up equals vk up, left equals vk left, and down equals vk down. We are now ready to program our movement. Tick off the code and add a step event to the object. Now drag in a code block. We will now type our movement code. To do this we will be using a series of if statements to check if a key is being pressed. If it is, we will then move our object accordingly. Type if keyboard underscore check, then two brackets, and then in between those brackets put our variable right. This will check for our right key which is set in the create event. Now we need to add curly braces. Inside them, type x plus equals speed, or spd in this case. This will add 8 to our current x position and move the object right. We pretty much just need to repeat this for the next three directions, except for up and down we use y instead of x. Copy and paste that code one line below. Now in between the new curly braces you can see where it says x plus equals speed. Change it from x plus equals speed to x minus equals speed. You would have seen in your math classes that positive x points to the right and negative x points to the left. This works the same way, so we subtract to go left. So now we do essentially the same thing for up and down using y. Down is positive and up is negative. Don't forget to change our variable to left instead of right. Feel free to copy those two lines of code and then paste them one line below. Change the first variable to down, and then change x to y. Remember that adding to y will make the object go down. Now below that, change left to up, and then x to y again. Subtracting from y makes the object go up. That is it for our code. Give the object a sprite. and then create a new room and add the object to the room. Now run your game and use the arrow keys. If all goes well, the object should move according to the keys that you press. Close your game and bring the create event up in the player object. The reason we use variables to hold our key values is because this makes the code easier to edit later on. Say you wanted to change the keys to work with W, S, A and D instead of the arrow keys. You would need to search through your code and find the places where the key checks are being done. Doing it through variables eliminates the need to search through your code. Instead, you can just change the variable values in the create event. Let's try this now. Change VK right to ORD D. Make sure it's a capital D and that it's in between quotation marks to show that it's a string. Next, go to VK up and change that to ORD W. For left, change it to ORD A. And then for down, change it to ORD S. The ORD or ORD function stands for ordinary key. It simply returns the key code for whatever letter you enter as an argument. The letter must be a capital and must be a string. Remember strings are defined by quotation marks. Run your game again and use W, S, A and D to move. If all has gone well, your object should move around the screen accordingly. 
That's it for this video. We learned how to use variables to store key codes, making it easier to change them later on. And we learned how to check to see if a key is being pressed and move an object accordingly. We also learned about the X and Y axis. In the next topic, we will learn about object collisions and interactions.